Okay, we're back. Operation Aquiline Fire. We have remounted our assault on Boreal Town Wotan. The drop is complete. During the drop, one of our command dropships, the Hermione, crashed. The wreckage contains highly sensitive and necessary data stores that must not fall into the hands of the enemy. The terrain's interesting. Geographic anomaly, crystalline forms. So maybe some good cover there. We need to find the dropship, download data packs if possible by inspection. It says if possible, but this is actually a primary objective, so we need to do this. And then destroy the dropship. Search the zone, follow the nav sequence. The enemy knows you're coming. Excellent. We can go up to 80... I think we're going to go with the Sapphire build for this. And give our wingman the same lowdown. Just confirm my own loadout. There we go. Let's give it a shot. That's close. Look at these guys, they're really close. Let's get ourselves moving. Good hit so far. There's a second mech coming, a gargoyle. Taking a lot of hits suddenly. Okay, let's rip around the corner here. Take off his arm if we can. Gargoyles can't shoot without arms, typically. Kill him. Take off a leg if we can. There, he's had it now. Enemy mech destroyed. Two reports target destroyed. All points joining formation. Okay, Nav Zeta, that's the next one in the sequence. We've got our mech buddy with us. I'm going to prep my comms for attacking target. Took some hits, but that's to be expected. Eyes about. Nav Zeta. Zeta reached. Okay, now we're being guided to Nav Eta or Eta. Image enhancement engaged. We don't get all that much better picture with it with the image enhancer. Mm, noisy cars today. I should have closed my windows. Hellbringer. Got some cover here. Oh, oh dear, nasty. Oh, I can't really hit him if he's jump jetting. And he can hit me. Up you go, huh? Approaching a dangerous angle with my wingman here. Let's pull out of the way. The other one seems to have disengaged. Do you know what? I'm actually worried the Warhammer's going for the... Command, attack my target. He's going for the... Going for the wreckage, I think. 
catch up with him. We're just keeping up. We'll come back for that. For that rifleman, he's going nowhere. He's tracking. I oh know he's just looking around. How are we going to get a good shot in this guy? Perhaps the LRMs would have been good here to put just one shot on the guy. To make sure we don't destroy the, the dropship first. So much fog. Oh, yeah, we're getting some hits. That's good. Pushing cover. Let's try and drag him off to the side. We're in range now. We can see him. Some big bads coming. This is gonna be pretty nasty, actually. That just hit our, our buddy then. Whoops. More angles, more angles. We're gonna lose a wingman very soon, I think. There you go, there's a leg out on him. Missile's coming off that guy, we let's finish him off. I'm gonna try and cripple this. Good work. Oops, don't get in front of his guns. Excellent two, work. Reports target destroyed. Inspect. Dropship Hermione inspected. Data transfer begun. Twenty seconds to completion. I don't like that. Eyes about people. Ten seconds to completion. So now we are to destroy. Yep. All points attacking your target. How cool does that look, by the way, that dropship? Point two reports target destroyed. Primary objective destroy dropship for Miami. Successful. Proceed to dust-off zone for extraction. Point two, reporting task complete. Dust-off is Kappa, which is over that way. We've got a, a little friend to take out first. Hmm. Yeah, being able to ripple fire PPC so, so rapidly is just wonderful. All points attacking your target. You know what, actually, we might track around to the side here a little bit and just get behind his firing angle. Although he has got jump jets, so there's no way to really avoid all the fire. But one unlucky critical, and he could take us out. Now it's going to hit the structure, isn't it? Yep. Honestly, we could probably have eased off on the um, heat sinks. Some of these have to hit eventually, right? Image Engage. Yeah, hit's happening. He's dead. Nav data 
reached. Oh, it's a nasty way to go. Destroyed. Secondary objective. Destroy all enemy mech units. Successful. Point two. Reports target destroyed. Point two. Reporting task complete. Cool mission. We definitely got Zerg rushed the moment we moment we um we ran in, or at least rushed somewhat. I never actually played StarCraft. Turns out you can't be a flaming nerd in every single way, but at least I couldn't. But DCS and Mech Warrior, that's enough nerdiness, I think. Oh, and Baldur's Gate, god. It's terminal levels of nerdiness. Take me home. Okay. The Keshik is pleased with your actions in the field. We've got time for one more. Oh, call the trial. I. Okay. Let's see what kind of horrific mech we've been given this time. Please give me torso twist. Trial initiated. Wolf Clan protocol. All systems nominal. Oh, uh, yeah. Good lord. We're gonna use just. Get rid of all the S stuff. Oh my god. This is just nuts. LRM 10. What's the point of that? Ah, there's just so many different weapons all. This is madness. Truly madness. Let's turn around, get ourselves facing the right direction. We've taken hits, actually. Yeah, that heat's going to be a problem too, isn't it? Okay, right, we get small pulse lasers, which are actually quite efficient up close. Try and leg him if I can. Hey, buddy. Follow this. Bye. Okay, jump jet's pretty cool. That got us out of that little combat environment. Get ourselves clear of that storm crow if we can. Okay. Oops. Oh god. Would it have killed them to put some heat sinks on these? Okay, we've legged two. The question is do we go for the next progression? I don't think I'd be a good clan mech warrior. I'm not so um There we go, we're just past this torso twist now. Two gargoyles. We'll hit him there. So hitting their arms is a good way to disable a gargoyle. At least the mech warrior. If you're up against the Catholic Church, go, go easy. Let's try and snipe his legs. Sorry, his arms. That's one arm off. Well, that's a PPC too. We do not want to cop that if we can help it. Sequence initiated. Shutdown Jump sequence jet. Overridden. Hello there. Still overheating. Can we get his arms off? Don't get in front of the firing line if we can help it. Alright, we're out of here. Jump jets again. Actually, jump jets increase our heat, which makes some sense really. Well, we've disabled one of these. So I think if I can get myself around the corner of this without dying horribly, we'll have cooled down enough to take his arms off him. Taking lots of hits. 
Jeez. Whoops. Not good. Gyro's down. We lost an arm. There we go. We should be right now. And also, two pulse lasers is enough for our heat to handle. There we go. Smalls are actually really efficient, but the range is just so... Whew. Good lord. And our jump jets are gone too. Notice that. And our speed's dropped right off. We've taken engine damage and lost a gyro. Can I hit him with the large laser? Let's put you guys to that. for close range weapons. Yeah, I wasn't sure how I would go. Yeah. Whew. So yes, um, engaging gargoyles, taking off their arms is the simplest way to make them combat ineffective, but yeah, still very nasty. I think having at least a chance to set up firing groups before a battle would be good, but that comes in in the next game, I think. Thanks for watching. Well, I might record another one straight away, but you'll have to wait a week for it because I'm just teasing you all. <laughs> anyway, see you for the next one.